Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Rich here from T3 Angling. I know this is not a uh, fishing video, uh, but I am going to put this up on my YouTube page. I've um, got an F1, a 2004 um, one Ford F-150 Super Crew. The ashtray spring uh, came off, uh, so when I would push the, the ashtray in, it would just stay in. I had to sit there and get my big nubby fingers under there and try to pull it back out. Sometimes it's a pain in the butt, so if you're driving or whatnot, you know, it's, uh, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm kind of, I took some information from other, other, uh, YouTube channels. Uh, got other guys that have done this a uh, different way. I was looking at it and I was like, okay, so I think Gorilla Glue would probably be strong enough to hold it. Uh, and that's what I did. I just, just, it's just Gorilla Glue right now. So as you can see, I'm kind of hard to hold the camera. Let me put the camera down here a minute. Uh, I just put three dabs of Gorilla Glue on that thing and it's on there. I mean, it, it doesn't appear to be going anywhere, right? That side's a little bit loose. But what I did, instead of drilling and riveting and, and all kinds of other stuff, I took one of these little craft, little uh, heat gun, a heat pin, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's a Creatives Versatile. And it's a pretty neat little deal because it comes with a bunch of little different heads and stuff. You can wood burn, you can, whatever you want to do. But in this particular application, I thought, well, it would be kind of cool. Um, because this thing's molded plastic, I mean, there's no, um, there's no, if you, I don't know if you can see that in there or not, that light's not the best, but right up in here, um, roughly here and here are two little, or well, it's a piece of plastic and it's molded, right? So there's two little nubs sticking out. And over time, what those things do is in, in the heat, right? Uh, vibration of the vehicle, uh, and cold they contract heat they expand and like I said you got road vibrations and whatever So over a period of time those little things can wear out and then this spring will just pop off Well, that's what stops the ashtray from going in and coming back out with the push of the button here or you know when you push it in um, So I took mine apart this morning. I was having the same problem a lot of the other guys did I went out and I looked to see if there's a way to repair it and lo and behold when I pulled this thing out This whole thing had been detached and was just laying it was actually hanging on a wire um, inside the uh, the console or the, the the dash so I got up in there and the way you take it out is these two little prongs right here there's one on each side let me turn around that way we can see it so there's a tab here a tab there you just take a, a longer screwdriver not this one but just take a longer screwdriver and you just push down slightly on that tab you kind of push down one pull it out push down the other one and it slides right out now there is right here I don't know if you can see that uh, I'm trying to get you a better light, but right in there where my fingers at there is a little light bulb um, I don't know if it's burnt out or not But I turned the, the vehicle on when I had it apart and I didn't see anything happen So I'm gonna go research that and try to fix that but um, But to get to this to fix this today what my idea was instead of drilling things out like some of the other guys do is I took A little bit of Gorilla Glue Gorilla Super Glue and there's a white pad you see that little white tick right there. There's a white pad underneath this part of the of the spring, and all I did was I put three dabs of glue on there to hold that spring in place. Now, why do I want to do that? Because I'm going to take these screws, this little wood screws, right, little self-tapping wood screws. They're flathead because I didn't know if, if there's anything behind them to be poking out or pushing, and I didn't want to create any any height here. So I just I'm going to use these screws once we get me down to flat, pretty or pretty flat. So what I started thinking about is, okay, well, I got this little creative heat gun here or this little heat pin. And what I'm gonna do, I got a different tip on there. So if you can see it, pull that back a little bit. I had a big blunt tip on there to kind of push this out and it, it worked, but I didn't know if that was gonna be good enough to hold it over time because now that's, that plastic has been reheated and, 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 you know, and whatnot. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this one, it's got this little pit, this little tip on it, and I'm gonna put it right down the center and it's gonna make me a little hole. Right, and then what I'm gonna do, hopefully, if this all works out, on you know, doing stuff on camera hardly ever works out, right? But it's super glued down with Gorilla Glue here, here, and here, and I just put that in there to create a little hole. Hopefully for this screw. I got big hands, big bumble fingers, so this kind of stuff is hard for me to do. It's why my wife says I'm not very, very much a, of a handyman, um, is because it's not that I'm not. It's just my hands get in the way of everything. So anyway. So I put a little hole in there, and now I'm just going to tighten that screw down in there. 
again there's no drilling you know you can do this relatively quickly the only reason why I put the super glue on here was to hold it in place while I'm trying to do this is I didn't want that spring falling off all over the place so then you look on the back side here where it's going to come through we should I may have to find a shorter screw but for right now this looks like it's going to work fairly well let me see here let me get that thing up to lay down there all right again let me see if I can get this in there give me one second while I turn that in there there we go she's going in there nice there we go so now what I'm going to do is once I get down to that point it's not quite screwed all the way in there right here I left a little gap so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of glue and I'm going to go right down that plastic piece underneath it with that screw and kind of just push that in there up against that little slot with that Gorilla Glue get off the excess and I'm going to finish tightening that screw down And that, there we go. It's nice and tight. Now that's not going to go anywhere. That one screw will hold it, but you know, why, why do stuff half-heartedly, all right? So we got another screw. I'm going to take our little, our little heat pin here. We've got it in place where it should be, all right? And all we're going to do is just go with that pin into that little spot right there. Then these are the factory settings, so it's, or the places, so we're not messing up anything. Put that little hole all the way through. Take our screw. You know what? Let's put the super glue down in there now. Should have done that the first time. Put a little drop. Right down in there. And then we're going to take our screw. It just, it just don't want, it's finicky getting it started, but once it's in there, you can see it, it's going to hold that thing forever and we'll never have this problem again unless the plastic breaks if the whole thing breaks then you know you just order a new one so but i'm going to finish getting this in here somebody's trying to call me okay so let me get this <laughs> had it going in there all right let's get that back in there so we're just going to take our screwdriver and start screwing it in. Now once it gets started, it's going to be a little tight uh, because of the size of that little pin that we put in there. The screw is bigger, bigger obviously, but that's, that's okay because we want grip, right? So we, want, we don't want the screw to come back up. And once it gets through there, then it goes in there a lot easier. And we got our Gorilla Glue down in there. So we're just going to tighten it down, just like that. Boom. And there you go, guys. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, and then you just, when you go put it back in there, put it back in the in your in the slot where you know your ashtray, and, and you just take your long handle screwdriver and just push down on that on that part of the tab. See, it's got these little tabs right here. You want to push down here. It'll bend just a little bit and it'll slide right back in place. You know, get your grooves lined up. Okay? All right, guys, that'll do it. Out of here.